So you learned about uh, telephone network, patch panels. In general communication network, if we have four users and you do circuit switching, then the link, or we call it communication channel bandwidth, is divided into, say, four smaller pieces. And each user gets a dedicated piece, like this. Or you could do what we call time division multiplexing, where each user gets the entire bandwidth, but only for a fraction of time. So one user, second user, and so on. So that's circuit switching. Now, in computer communication network, like today's internet, we use packet switching. In packet switching, you already learned that data and the address information is sent as a packet. And each packet essentially goes through multiple hops, one hop at a time. Much like you send a letter through a postal office, goes to a, a local office, uh, post office, then go to the regional and national office, and so on. Uh, the key difference is that in packet switching, there's no bandwidth is dedicated to any single user. A bandwidth is used only on demand, only when you have a letter to send. Like in this case, if user D doesn't have any data to send, no bandwidth is wasted. Okay? Other users, A, B, and C, can send their data using the available bandwidth. So a quick summary um, is that packet switching is great for bursty data, meaning that the data comes in a, in a batch, but not constant rate. It, it is good because of the packet switching uh, allows the user to use the bandwidth only when needed, and there's no dedicated uh, waste. This is called statistical multiplexing feature of the packet switching. And it's also simpler than circuit switching because there's no need to set up a circuit beforehand. Now, the potential problem with packet switching is that when multiple users all want to send their packet all at the same time to the same location, there may be congestion. Much like you know, on the road network, when a lot of people all wanted to go to a concert, Bill's game, and so on. So the difference here between a circuit switch, ne uh, circuit switch network and packet switch network is that because of the dedicated bandwidth available in circuit switch network, there's no congestion. Whereas in packet switching, there may be a congestion, and in fact, in computer communication networks, because the packets need to be stored at each router, if the router's buffer gets full, then packet may also get overflown or lost. So you have potential for delay due to the queuing and also packet loss due to buffer overflow. A lot of uh, applications, uh, you know, such as file transfer, real-time audio video communication you know requires special protocols to address these loss and the delay issues